you know what? I've been chatting and I haven't been looking for the bloody turning. I haven't been looking for the turning. Might be here. <laughs> yeah, it's here. This is the turning, everyone. Anyway, let's, we're at a junction point. Here's Robert Warren, everyone. Look, there's the sign. The hill fort is up there, but there are some steps further back you can climb. Called the I call them the secret steps. This is all the hill fort, and if you go along there, you can come out a bit further up and climb back up the back of the hill fort. But this is the way I went once before, and it. Uh, I think I actually turned on Sony at some point, so that part of the walk where I'd done a bit of Sony was saved. Um, but basically I've got a feeling this bit wasn't, this bit wasn't done by Sony. So I'm doing it again and I'm going to try and keep still-ish. It's a lovely little walk, isn't it? And I don't forget, several months ago, it wouldn't have been green like this. It wouldn't have been green like this, no way. When it's really heavy rain, of course, this water would gush down here, you can see. It would be like a stream here. Beautiful, isn't it? So we start climbing up a bit now. Very gradual. Very gradual. Water would also come down this side. And the stones get moved about by the water. This could be like a river coming down here. Now I'm going to have to turn off briefly to take photos. Back on again. Be back I'll on. To join these videos together, I can hear the bubbling brook. I can hear it trickling away. Little flowers in there, little blackberries. I could be, might, might be blackberries. Now these, some of these trees are ash. That one's definitely dead. Some are still hanging on. These. These are hanging on despite being affected, but I think they're allowing some to, to get immunity. All these are ash, and you heard of ash dieback. Actually, I know where there was this path I was talking about. Up here, there's a turning to the right. That's the path I mean. You, if you come down from further over, you'd come down across that way and then down here. So, yeah, there is a path. Oh, this is lovely, being caressed by the grasses. Hope they haven't got ticks on them. That's, that's what they do, they hang on the grass hoping to get you and so do those spiders. Uh, what do you call them, the false widows. I haven't seen any of those today. In fact, I haven't seen any yet. They, they come out at a certain time. And they form webs across your pathway. Uh, that's why the stick is handy. When the spiders are at their peak, I usually have the stick and I move in the moving it in front of me to break the webs. Yeah, because they bite as well. Those spiders bite. Do you know what these old shoes I got are doing so well because really I bought a new pair identical so we thought same size yeah same color same soles felt all right when I put them on exactly the one and I didn't know if I, sometimes I give it a benefit of a doubt with a shoe might need to wear it a bit not usually I usually know straight away if a shoe's going to be all right and I won't buy it if it ain't. But these were deceiving. It was only after about a month of having them with recurring pressure on the toe and not being able to wear thick socks. I wear, I wear thick socks with these. These are really comfortable. They've never played me up these old shoes. They're still doing all right. I'm getting good wear out of them. But I bought another pair identical. I haven't ever gone back to the shop yet to tell them, but I might do soon. 
because I can't really wear them properly. What it is, this bit here, on it, this bit here, I don't know if you can see what I'm showing you, wait a minute. This bit here, right, you've got a certain length like that. On the other one, it is not much, but it's shorter. This cap is short enough to cause my toes to be able to rub on the bottom in the toe. And uh, I've had to wear really thin socks as well. So I think I should take them back really, because I think, I don't, you can obviously see it when you put the, when you first put the shoes next to each other, they look the same. But when you look carefully, you'll see the difference. And you would see it if I put one, say, a good idea is to put a new one on one foot and an old one on the other. And you would see the difference. But I don't like making moans. And I do wear them just going in for town, but I do need another pair of walking shoes, really. So I was very aware of that. And I still feel I should tell them. I mean, before now, they give me a brand new pair when there's been faults. It's not really a fault. They say, did you try them on? I said, yes. They're identical to my other pair. Now, I say, you look carefully at that. It might look insignificant, but it's not when it comes to walking when your feet expand and everything. Right then folks, so we know the turning that's going up that way is that one I know which you can come down if on another walk. So if you go that way now you'll come out you can come out on a route to climb up the hill for it. If you go this way, we're going to climb up to where the beautiful track will be for a little bit further up. <sighs> Which I'm half tempted to do. Half tempted to do it again. It's not... Um, a terrible route. But um, there's another track I want to do instead, actually, because I'm trying to work out another pathway, and I think I've roughly sorted it. But um, when I get out, after the wood sections, I'll be putting my hat on. You can feel the heat when you come out, just for a small stretch then. You can feel the heat. I'm going to stop here and have my chocolate before it melts. Before I do, look at these lovely tall trees. Aren't they gorgeous? And there's a bird singing. I don't know what sort or where he is. Could be a robin. He's up there somewhere. Well, I'm gonna turn off because I really need Back to get my again. chocolate. I've had my chocolate, drink of water topping up in advance with glucose and water. Of course, what I've done this year, I've um, instead of three bottles of water, I've substituted a bottle with three, with two small juices, um, fruit juice. So I have two bottles of water and two bottles, two much smaller bottles of fruit juice. Beautiful, and it? it's a really good day for photography today, by the way. This is the little track I'm going up. We'll pass the entrance to the beautiful track, which I'm not going to overdo, because the thing is, if I've been up and down it now, so I don't want to do it today. Um, I do want to do it, but I don't want to do it. So I don't want to overdo it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So... Otherwise it'll soon become, it won't be special. It was very special in the spring. And when I first went up it, I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. 
And when I came down it, I came down a couple of days later, I just had to. It was very peaceful. Of course, this is the first time I've worn shorts out today. And no, normally when I'm out here, I've got coats and stuff on. So it's nice to get out on a lovely summer's day. Not a massive hike today. Still enough. Because um, I did a massive hike on Quantox the other day. Um, this is much hotter today here. And the breeze is warm. So I'm deliberately doing a bit of wood. But I will be doing the area of Outstanding Beauty as well, going through the top gate, not the very top gate, but um, it's too overgrown. Might see the cows and horses again. I've got to record this again because like I said, the first time I've done it, I wiped it out. Even though I had seen it, I thought I'd saved it. I'll never forgive myself for that. Never forgive myself, I won't. <sighs> Christmas trees are... Fortunately, I'd, Sony was working. Sony's not working anymore. It's died. It might be able to work, maybe, now and again. You can't really bring it out. You can't rely on it. Um, but that day it worked for the... It did work for a couple more weeks I think and then it's gradually got where it won't it just won't engage no matter what you do I've got new memory cards I've recharged a bit disappointed really it's gone like that and the other one's the same I've got two like it and they both conked out they're not they don't last very long but you see with me they get worked to death if you imagine, on average, I'm out three times a week. Maybe once in the winter, a big hike. Um, so they do, they do really get used. This one might not last either. I mean, I've got no idea. And this one's being used as a moving camera without any way of really stabilizing it all right so we're nearly at a junction point in a minute folks there'll be a path going off one way one going up round there and the other one will be going up the special track but i did want to video this bit and it's also quiet it's midweek the glastonbury festival has kicked off today brilliant day for them all but the thunderstorms and rain are expected, but I don't think they're supposed to be really, really heavy. So they might be lucky. Right, we come out of the sunshine for a bit. That's it, we come out of the sunshine for a bit. There's a lovely little place as well, isn't it? Lovely little cool place. That's where the junction is, just there, and I'll be going up around in a minute. So I've really enjoyed that walk. I've really enjoyed it. There is a wild walk that you can probably do in the winter. I wouldn't risk it going anywhere wild in the summer because of snakes and ticks and everything else is straight across but that's what I call the wild walk it's not a, it hasn't been um, designed for people to go up there on a regular basis I expect a few people have sat on that log and had a picnic don't you I'm just going around there where those gates are now then there'll be a big climb up now the only thing about going up there which would be nice really compared to what I am going to do is it's sheltered and it's a gradual climb you don't always know you're doing it I 
like I say, through there is a walk and when that all dies down you can see like a path, which you can't now. And I often come down that way, go around this bit. And for a long time I wondered, because for a while they wouldn't even let you go up the special track for some reason. They were landscaping it, I think, or thinning it out. We just take some photos of it. You find these tracks everywhere. You can't no normally get lost as subtly in this wood because you'll always come across a main track. Now that's a special track. See how dark it looks. Uh, but it, is, it gets, it's so glorious. I'm, I mean, in spring, it was glorious and it still is. And I've been up it. I'm not doing it today. What's the point? I'm going to do another track. So anyway, let's just take a picture of it. Let's turn off for a minute. Get that sun out of the way. That's it. Let's go up to it, Jill. Say hi.